right, so just to give you an update, uh, the builder did ring us to and said that they'd had um, a structural engineer up to look at the. In the past, somebody made an attempt to build a, uh, a loft conversion. So, uh, probably a long, long time ago up to today's current standards. Um, when they exposed the original plan for us was to have everything replastered because the, it was so wonky and cracks uh, that was always going to be in the plan but when they took all the plaster away main purlins was uh, patched up with this huge steel bracket and a, a supporting timber um, fixed together with uh, coach bolts um, holding the old structure together when the uh, structural engineer so that so it's got to have a new roof on so um that's what happens you know when you're working with a an old property like this and um you know we're just gonna have to reevaluate the the budget um you know change some things around i think um you know it's we, we, we've accepted it um some things we were wanting we might not be able to have but neil's sort of like saying you know we can make savings here and there so we'll see what plan neil has and see how much the uh the new roof is going to cost so until we find that out um you know we're not uh we're not going to know anything so whether it's probably a delay on we were planning to be in for september um maybe neil we might we'll see we'll see um we still upbeat about it you know it's a it's our project we're going to make it into a nice comfortable home for the rest of our retirement and uh it's it's what we both wanted so uh, we'll see how we go on that we'll we'll catch up It's uh, Wednesday the uh, 29th of April, I uh, just called up at the uh, house in East Byway, see how the uh, renovations are going on and we've got the second steel in now which is this one here, sat on its pad stone and that is going to support the the uh, loft conversion floor uh, and it's set so the height we can get the the height of over six, uh, two meters or six foot so i taking out one of the uh, original um, beams one of the purlins and still got one one up there the one that was uh, damaged let me show you the other side you can see just how much of a bend there is on it. Just there, where they've done the repair there, you can see just how much it bends. There's a proper fracture in it there. And that's why we had to have the, uh, the roof uh, done. So the chimney stack, that's going to have a, that's going to come down and it's going to be rebuilt because it is sloping a little bit and the top part of the gable end up there that's going to be taken down and rebuilt um, before the uh, third and final steel goes in which will be the ridge steel will go across there so the lads are they're doing a great job. We've just got to leave this now for two days uh, to let the motor set, and then uh, we'll be looking to 
work on the uh, on the ridge part of the roof and the chimney stack up there.